Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now April 25th of 2024, and given that all divisions over at the Walt Disney Company are going through a series of challenges right now, and most definitely Marvel Studios, you know, 2025 is looking to be a year full of expensive failures, not just due to Kevin Feige and his lack of leadership skills, but also Bob Iger's. We can't forget about him as well. And it's not just them to blame, by the way, it's the fact that Disney caves in to the demands of their top three shareholders, BlackRock, Vanguard, and State Street, the ones funding everything related to DEI and ESG, etc, etc. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So as you all know, the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, the final one at that, just debuted a couple of days ago, and Essentially, a lot of people were very thrilled to see the return of Hugh Jackman, the return of Deadpool, and how Ryan really did a fantastic job, along with Sean, on how the trailer was executed. We talked about this about a month ago, that Sean Levy, actually after a series of ultimatums and battles against Disney, got things done his way, the way that the actual trailer would be presented to the audience. Now, looking ahead here to the reshoots, the reshoots are still intact for Deadpool and Wolverine, something that has been worrying a lot of fans out there, worrying some of the creatives attached to Deadpool and Wolverine, and this is where matters get even more interesting when it comes to the whole Joy Behar scenario and everything related to Ryan Reynolds. Let's get into it. Now specifically, of course, on top of everything here, with all divisions at the Walt Disney Company facing multiple problems due to Bob Iger's lack of leadership skills and deliberate agenda strategies wreaking havoc on everything. One major development now has much to do with actor Ryan Reynolds going head-to-head -head with Joy Behar. Now, a significant update to this situation now involves how Ryan is already gathering with those like Sean Levy and the writers of Deadpool and Wolverine to double down on the scene that mocks Joy Behar, something that the heads at Disney remain opposed to. However, were forced into developing this scene for reshoots after Ryan and crew handed out ultimatums of backing out of Avengers Secret Wars. Already Ryan is getting Hugh Jackman involved now to take part in the scene that will mock Joy Behar of The View, which are reportedly, of course, making matters even worse since Behar lost out on her $10 million payout from the other cameos that she was to be given for the film, along with exclusive interviews with Hugh Jackman and, of course, Ryan Reynolds, where they backed out of those interviews previously. The scene, however, that Ryan is already planning with writers Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick now involves both Hugh Jackman and Wade Wilson, of course, portrayed by Ryan, jumping through a portal and heading to the real world, to, of course, another universe, to the real world universe, where they visit a bar. However, this bar is not the same one seen in the trailer as the footage has not even been shot yet. That is, of course, all set in to begin, of course, in just a couple of days for reshoots, by the way. Now, both Reynolds and Levy's idea for the scene would involve the two characters drinking whiskey and other types of liquor, asking the bartender to turn up the volume of the view as they make jokes about Joy Behar with the other hosts in the background. The creators of Deadpool are reportedly using archived footage of The View to use, of course, for the scene. This way, they would not need to get Joy Behar to film the scene on set. Now, this is reportedly already creating outrage from Joy Behar, where the drama has been so serious and has been rattling throughout all of Disney and Marvel Studios. Behar is reportedly only getting paid a bare minimum to have her scene inserted. However, it does not agree with the creative direction by Ryan and Sean. Now, originally, Behar was going to have a massive interview, a series of interviews, with both Ryan and Hugh that they shot down themselves that would have paid her $10 million overall by Disney, including a lengthy cameo scene that was recently slashed and is now getting revamped from the Deadpool creators to be shortened and simplified. Already, Behar is casting blame on Ryan Reynolds for the lack of creativity in her mind for the scene and how it is considered a lot less shorter than the original plans. Now, the scene in which Behar gets roasted by Deadpool and Wolverine is planned to last around 1 minute and 30 seconds or even closer to 2. However, will be endless jokes and laughter at the TV show host. This is something to this day that the Disney heads are trying to fight Ryan and crew for to get the scene removed or 
to actually axe those plans for the reshoots that they believe it will damage ratings for the view. However, Ryan and everyone else are not backing down as Disney attempted to negotiate and make some form of a deal to withdraw from using the Behar scene at all. Now, the scene is planned to be filmed for around two days worth of shooting sometime in May, just weeks before reshoots are planned to end by the last week of that month, along with Reynolds, aiming to provide Henry Cavill a big cameo in Deadpool and Wolverine as a surprise cameo character. However, the character is currently unknown at this time, and it's the very character that is replacing She-Hulk, portrayed by Tatiana Maslany after she was removed. Now guys, let me just talk about one thing before I move on. Now, here's the bigger picture, is that Deadpool and Wolverine, it's basically a Disney production, yes, but we all need to realize that the reason why I think it comes across as well above average, and the trailer, which by the way was a sell, is because of Ryan Reynolds. It's all because of Sean Levy. It's also because of Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick grouping up together, warning Disney that if you don't do things our way, we are walking from other Marvel-related projects that, you know, in their mind, Disney needed them for, and they do. So that's why you're getting this one production that could very well be promising. Now look, Disney is still being very stubborn by trying to insert some elements of DEI for the third act reshoots and other elements like that, that Ryan have, of course, been gaining many victories over with very few losses, and that's a good thing. So far, Deadpool and Wolverine could very well be the one Marvel movie that could absolutely show Disney how things are supposed to be done. And look, we already know that 2025 is shot to begin with, all right? Everything related to Captain America 4, Blade, Thunderbolts, and let's not forget about Fantastic Four. That's just on the Marvel end of things. You also got Snow White 2025 in March of that year. So it's not looking good at all for Disney. So interestingly enough, there's a lot of things coming out of the whole Behar situation with Ryan Reynolds and how it is indeed creating a tug of war situation behind the scenes over at Marvel Studios and everything happening over at the Walt Disney Company. So Bob Iger, you know, really, at the end of the day, you can see that he is desperately trying to get things done his way, but he's messing around with the wrong type of creators. You don't do things like that with Ryan Reynolds. And I think that was a surprise to them. I don't think that they expected people like Ryan, Sean, Rhett, and Paul, these four great people attached to this movie, to group up and to stand up and to even get Hugh Jackman on their side to speak up against Disney and to really take a stamp. And this is exactly why they're getting things done their way as opposed to Disney's way. Now we already know that Disney's trying to reframe uh, Cassandra Nova, one of the main villains in Deadpool 3 for the third act, to kind of fall more into their line with DEI elements, but we'll talk more about that later on. But yeah, I would like to hear what you all have to say about this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys later.